Hello and welcome Bolton fans. Yes, this is my blog. This is my turn to have my say. So, uh, what do we know about this week? Well, this week, Ken Anderson has told everybody in the world that Machillas from Machillas, Machillas, whatever the fuck he's called, from the Bolton News, doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, I will admit, I look in the Bolton News, I keep wanting to say evening news, because it used to be called evening news, of course. I look at their website every single day, without fail, to find out what's going on at Bolton. And with that sort of blast from Ken Anderson, you just wonder if actually that's just a worst time or not. I don't know, it could. Well, let's be honest, Mac Hills wasn't exactly in favour with Phil Garside, um, and now he's fallen out of favour with Ken Anderson. That's not good. It really isn't. Um, anyway, further more from that, uh, and this was in Bolton News, which was sort of reported correctly, uh, we've got uh, names of released players. Um, great to see that Liam Trotter is going ace, fantastic, uh, and they're off on about getting rid of Connor Wilkinson. Great as well, uh, if not, why can't cancel the year, last year of his contract, because we don't want him, he's rubbish. Um, disappointed though in the fact that Matt Davis wasn't on that list. Are they going to try and give him a pay if you play deal? Because he certainly shouldn't be on what he's on now. Because uh, he's never fit, let's be honest. Um, on top of that, we've also got Poxy Moxie. Uh, yes, Poxy Moxie is still um, on the return list, which is disappointing. Because, well, he's not very good. As in the name Poxy. Yeah. Um, but, right, okay, so that's two little items gone. The third one, and the best one of the lot. I must say congratulations to Forest Green, who today came into the league. They're the smallest town ever to be in league football, with only 6,000 population. So we'll be getting 25,000 in the stadium with us anytime soon. However, at the same time as going into the league, by the way, Kane, Kane Woolery, I can never remember what, can never pronounce his first name, um, who played for us until the beginning of last season, when Wigan took him, I like to cut, take all our players. Up scored, which was more than excellent. And he scored against one of our former foes. Yes. Trashmere Rovers. <gasps> Sorry. Tranmere Rovers. That's what the real name is. Yes. The wonderful Scousers from the posh battles, pa posh battle of Liverpool uh, aren't in the league still. And I could say that I'm really heartbroken and I'm disappointed about it. But I'm not. As many people will know, Bolton lost a playoff final to them, people, 1-0 uh, in the Phil Neal era. Um, and furthermore, which, which I was at, by the way, and what really upset me, which I was also at, was Prenton Park, uh, back in 1997, uh, when we were on to score 100 goals, which we had scored because we scored two at their place. Uh, and we were on to get 100 points. I think we were the first team that we were going to do it. And they scored in the last 30 seconds of the game. In fact, I think it was the last kick of the game. Uh, and they celebrated like they'd won the league. Well, we'd wiped the floor with the league. Uh, but they stopped us getting 100 points. And, well, I've never really forgiven them for the celebration that they did for that. Uh, like, I'd never really forgiven them for the tough final loss. I think it was 91. So, um, yeah, it was tough on them, I guess. Maybe they'll get in the league one day, but hopefully not any time soon. And that's not me. That's just giving an opinion. Uh, if you like my video, um, which you probably didn't, um, especially if you're one of their fans, um, then give it a like anyway, subscribe, and even better, share. Why not? What have you got to lose? Uh, certainly not your league status like they have. Uh, bye.